it's time for the Not Yet Title News. Alright, so I found a fresh story which I've seen recently in the news, and it is definitely a weird one. A group of university students in China create a remote kissing device. And yes, it is exactly what it says on the tin. So a remote kissing device has been created by a group of university students in China for people in long distance relationships. The 3D silicon gadget has a mouth shaped module and is triggered through a kiss which is then transferred to the mouth on the other side. So the idea is you will kiss this device and on the other end somewhere else in the world your friend is there waiting like mouth to mouth with their own kissing device and once you've kissed it that device will then replicate that kiss for them. So you get to kiss each other with the use of this 3D silicon machine to uh, share those intimate moments across the the distance. See, I've, I've not been in a long-term relationship before. Long t- <laughs> no, I haven't been in one of those. What I meant to say is I've not been in a long-distance relationship before. So I, I don't know. Maybe people really want this thing. I'm sure there is definitely a, uh, a market for this. It mimics the movement, temperature, and pressure of the kiss. Wow, so if you're in a... If you've got a bit of a cold mouth one day, they're going to feel that too on their end. And pressures and links to the phones via Bluetooth and an application. So you download this app on your phone and then it like pings the device. Some users called the device weird while others found humor in it saying that the device convinced them that having a long distance relationship is a pretty bad idea. Okay, yeah, so nobody's actually enjoying this thing, right? Well, there probably will be. Actually, I'd put money on there be being some interesting people who will find this to be right up their street, I'm just not one of them. According to the Global Times, a state-run media outlet, the invention has been patented. Well, there we go, they're taking it seriously. The lead inventor of the device told Global Times that in my university, I was in a long-distance relationship with my girlfriend, so we only contact each other through phone. That's where the inspiration of this device originated. Well, needs must and all that, but mm, I don't know. Oh, hold on. A function in the app allows users to pair up anonymously with strangers in the kissing square. So if you and a bunch of strangers all have this device and you're on this certain part of the app, you can kiss strangers. It does, you don't have to know them, but if you're feeling a bit lonely, you think, oh, I could do with a cheeky kiss. Put your mouth up to the device and then, you know, give it a kiss. And a stranger on the other end will get exactly the same. Yeah, now there is definitely a group of people into that. But this isn't the first time this thing has been done because in 2016 the gadget show featured the kissing app Kissager, a sensory stimulating technology that mimics a real kiss through a touchpad similar to this latest invention. Wow, this has been tried before. People are really wanting this for some reason. So uh, the 2016 team created an iOS prototype that plugged into the phone's headphone jack and was triggered through the pressure put onto the device. It is slightly strange how it's actually moving and the world and the pressure is moving around. From the, uh, Amy Williams from the Gadget Show said. There's sort of like pressure you feel then on your lips. Wow, yeah, so this has been tried before. People have done it again. Well, long distance relationship technology, hey, things are moving forward if you're into that. So yeah, that pretty much concludes this week's weird news story and that definitely was a weird one. So if you enjoyed this episode of the podcast, and don't forget to check out previous episodes of the podcast. Or if you want something different, check out our other YouTube channels, The Daily Weekly Show and Daily Weekly Builds for more.